Jerry Motsau of South Africa, Mike Foppen of the Net. So a field of 11 plus two pacemakers. They're looking at that world record pace. They were targeting last week, although it very quickly faded away of Daniel Komen's 7.24.9. They've asked the pacemakers to take them through 1,000 meters in 2.29. Yeah, so just around about 30 seconds, just under 30 seconds per 200 metre circuit there. Chris, I wonder whether these three ever get sick of racing each other, you know, <laughs> week in, week out. Uh, but we certainly don't get sick of watching them. Well, Borrega and Germa, of course, we're talking about the three Ethiopians. And uh, they did. They, they got into a race last week. I mean, we talk about tactics and we talk about, you know, these quick times that they're supposed to race. But last week, it actually seemed like they all just wanted to, you know, sit back a little bit, maybe just see how the race unfolds. And um, it was Borrega in second place. Germa won that one this time, uh, Whale in third. Yeah, we mentioned it last time, didn't we? That the big head-to-heads -heads between these three. Berega is the Olympic champion over 10,000 metres, but it's been Wale and Gurma who've actually beaten him in the two big head-to-heads -heads between these three that we've seen in the last couple of Levan meetings. So I'm sure Berega will be out for revenge today. He's currently there in second position behind the two pacemakers. That's Dariba in second position, one of the pacemakers just behind Adam Szewinski of Poland. Single far behind them. Behind Berega comes Wale and then comes Gurma. And then comes Kasai, Adihana Kasai, who's a 335-1500 meter runner. This is his indoor debut. Well, there's just so much quality, isn't there? We've already talked about Borrega being the Olympic champion over 10,000 meters. Germa is the Olympic silver medalist over the steeplechase. And uh, Whale was fourth place in that event as well. Just looking down the field as well, I can see Crop there from Kenya. He's improving. He ran a season's best um, last week. I'm trying to work out when these weeks were. It was less than a week ago, wasn't it? In fact, five days ago still. In Lievan, he brought his personal best uh, down to 7.34 on that occasion. And uh, certainly the pacemaker looks like he's doing a really good job of steady 200 meter circuits just inside 30 seconds. Well, the pacemakers have taken a group of six away with them at the moment. In fact, seven away with them. Jerry Motsau of South Africa is one from the back of that group. And then it's Bibits of Serbia who is running in the uh, the final position, if you like, in this main group at the moment with the cluster of Ethiopians ahead of them, including the pacemakers. Well, it's good to see Jerry Motsu get on the back of this. This is his in indoor debut. He's based in uh, Poches Fume, where a lot of European athletes go and train over the winter months, um, big shout out to Jerry. He's, he opens a gym for us sometimes, Chris. It's Does he? It's closed on a Sunday, but he's very kind. He opens it for us, which is, is uh, which is very good of him. So uh, I hope he goes well here. Yeah, what a good man he is. The new South African record holder set last summer in June is uh, Jerry Motsau, 31 years of age these days. Very experienced athlete. So Adam Shavinsky's pacing job is done as they go through 1,000 metres. And this group of seven now with Dariba, just looking at the splits, Jenny, on our uh, computer here, or trying to anyway. Uh, haven't got the split coming through for 1,000 metres. I don't know if you spotted it as we went through, but either way, the pacemaker just sneaking ahead of these three now, and we saw it last week, didn't we, where they switched off their pacing and just decided to have a race between themselves. Yeah, and interesting, borrega has gone out wide there, hasn't he? He's almost saying, come on, let's uh, share the workload. So I'm not quite sure uh, what the tactic is for this one, whether it's uh, a real attack on that world record or it is going to end up quite a tactical affair. Looking down um, the splits that they've asked to, oh, I can see the pacemaker is uh, probably still on the pace that they've asked for, but the pace has definitely dropped in the race proper behind it. Yeah, what I was saying is um, they've actually asked for a certain time with 1,000 and 2,000 metres, and the time they've asked for. Well, Germa it is, and he was actually the winner when they. Uh, battled in that race five days ago. You know, it's hard, isn't it? You know, bringing yourself back. You know, you've had a tough race five days ago. You, lots of travel. Obviously, a lot of these guys are over in Europe from Ethiopia and having to travel from hotel to hotel. So I think sometimes we don't quite appreciate how tough it is to get the training in, move between venues and locations, and then come back and expect some world-class performances. But looks like the pacemaker's doing a really good job now. Notice that no one was with him, so he's actually backed off the pace. And uh, he's bringing them through here with four laps to go, round about four seconds outside that time. 
Well, don't forget that Wale and Gurma are steeplechasers outdoors by trade, so they should have the, the strength over this distance. Sullivan Borrega has proved he has a speed over 1,500 metres. Bit of a coming together there. I think Borrega clipped Wale as they get right on the back of the pacemaker and just uh, ushering him aside. So it's Getnet Wale who takes the front now from Borrega, and then comes Gurma and Jacob Krop in fourth position, and Bibic is running well to hang on to this group of four as well. He ran 7.44 in Karlsruhe and 7.42 in Levan did. Ezan Bibic. Yeah, with three laps to go, they've uh, done very, very well. Bibic is just moving her back down the track now, as I think this pace will start to pick up. Borrega it is, who's taking on the pace from Wale, from Germa there, still in third position. Uh, Krop is hanging on the back of these three. He's doing really, really well personal best in Lievan last week and Whale looks like he's hitting the front now with two laps to go. So the other day we saw Lemetra uh, Gurma come out on top from Borrega and Wale. At the moment it's Wale from Borrega from Gurma but Jacob Krop might yet have a say. The Kenyan national record holder on the roads over 5,000 metres. World finalist over 5,000 metres in Doha as well. In his debut indoor season, so there's still a Kenyan athlete here trying to spoil the Ethiopian party as Borrega starts to get moving at the front now, having a little look out the corner of his eye. Borrega from Wale, from Gurma and Krop trying to hang on. Well, Borrega is really grimacing now and he's really made a real long strike for home as I'm seeing Gurma now really battling to hold on to that second position, but he's been overtook now by Wale. Borrega it is with 50 metres to go and here comes Krop. Solomon Borrega challenged again by Gurma as he was in Levan and it's an action replay. Gurma up on the line again to beat Borrega. This time Krop gets third ahead of Getnet Wale, 7.31. And it is deja vu as Lamecha Gurma takes victory for the second time in a few days. Well, he timed it so well, didn't he? He had speed to burn on that last 200 meter circuit. And I've got to say, these races are very interesting, aren't they? When you've got.